shaves my lap. Well, I've got two more boys to trim, but she's the last girl I'm trimming today. These, her and her sister, Penelope, just are not um, used to the milk stand yet. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work trying to get them up there. Um, Athena just jumps right up, but there was a time that she wasn't good at it, so practice makes perfect. Sophie's enjoying cleaning up the nail trimmings. <laughs> so helpful. So, so helpful. Um, so far, I've been so, so extremely happy with these. Um, no blisters or anything. Um, my hands cramp because it's hard to hold their hooves and they don't like to be held, so... <laughs> it's a lot of work and I, like I said I still have to do the boys but not today not today it's getting late in the day but it's such a beautiful day it's such a beautiful day <laughs> the goats are enjoying it we had Lula the guardian dog out you can see trying to groom her <laughs> we're gonna do a bonfire kind of clean up some of the branches that have fallen and so it's just Beautiful day. Really enjoying this weather as spring is coming. I mean, it's still only February. You still have some time, but spring is coming. You got the wind blowing in your hair. <laughs> oh, everybody's really happy. I need to get her pedicure done. Can't do her pedicure. We have to hire that one out. <laughs> he tolerates us. But our dad's one, I think. I don't think so. He said he was stuck in traffic. Our hay storage is doing really well. Yeah. So that's nice to see that we still have, oh, he is home. He texted me and said he was stuck in traffic. So he says, I'll be home sometime. We have church activities tonight. So yeah. we'll probably finish up. Are you not being let in? What's, what's going on? Yeah. Huh? Is Lula, okay, I wondered if Lula was, oh. Out of all the girls' hooves, um, Daphne's right here were probably the worst. They weren't as soft, they weren't as nice, um, which indicates to me and what I've seen is Daphne does not like to go outside and get her feet wet. And um, these other two girls don't care as much. So they're much, much easier to trim. This alfalfa is really got a lot of, what's it called? I can't talk today. And apparently you're gonna puke. I would too if I was eating toenails. <laughs> but really um, powdery is the right word. So that's, that's dumb. But anyway, but everybody's looking really good. She looks like she's pregnant. She's our only doe that I think got pregnant. Um, the other two, I don't think so. Speaking of pregnancy, pretty positive she miscarried. There was a time where she was spotting for a few minutes, a couple days, and she's got her energy back, her girlish shape is back, so. She's not healthy. You know, she has cancer. She's not healthy, so I was not surprised. I was actually really worried about her health, how she was going to handle pregnancy, so I think her body said, all right, we'll take care of that, and and did. So. She'll be a first freshener, so she'll probably only have one baby. Oh, I would like to have more than one baby. And I would like to have more than one goat kid at the same time, but we'll get there. We'll get there. But um, Lincoln's doing really well. Um, Mama, her ear mites are cluttering up really well, it looks like. So we've got it on the calendar to redose. And um, feels good. Feels good to take care of the animals. <laughs> Goats are so fun. Oh, we lost our light. Ah, our timer has gone off. That means it's time to go inside, right? Yeah. <laughs> Here. Let's go. So. Next time. Next time. <laughs> They're not too bad. They, they do need a trim. There's a walking dog. I have to go inside. Yeah, we, what, you don't have to come inside? No. 
But I do need you to change your clothes before church. church? You wore that yesterday. Activities at the church, okay. Captain Literal. So let's go, let's go, let's go. Sometimes I don't want to explain myself. I'm actually really excited. This side of the house here, I really want to transform it. I don't love these bushes. I would like rose bushes here or something else. Maybe even grapevines. I, don't, I guess I don't want, I'm gonna need to pressure wash the house. So excuse the house, but I don't want grapevines ruining my siding. I don't know, maybe blueberries. I could fill it full of, of wood, chi wood chips. But anyway, I have my elderberry bush where that stake is. That hibiscus tree died. I just wanna put a few fruit trees over here. I have my raspberries right there. I am going to take out the really cute. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, but I'm glad it's dead and not in the ground. They are wreaking havoc in our yard. But I'm gonna take out these really cute flowers here that come up and transplant them somewhere else, but make this a strawberry bed. I'm really excited to make my space my own and um, just, you know, it's been three years. This is our third year in our homestead and it just takes a minute to settle in and figure out what you want and what you like. And I'm still figuring it out, but I'm excited. This is the next project that needs to get done. <laughs> Come on, so. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, baby. Normally she makes it just fine. Oh. You coming? I have to sit. But. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously it broke, so we'll get her up here. Jonah just needs to drill new um, things inside. But normally she makes it. Come on, come on, good girl, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Maybe she just needs to get excited. Come on, come over here, it's short. Good girl, come on, come on. All right, we'll let you in the back. <laughs> good girl. Good girl. 